I am super cold. This is his degree and we are not yet in the winter. Man, surviving Canada is not a joke. So in this video, I'll be sharing with you five toughest jobs for immigrants. Like when immigrants come into Canada and they are looking for jobs, don't get the jobs, they end up settling for these toughest jobs in Canada. In surviving Canada, you need to just accept this job when other jobs are not coming on. So watch this video to the end, guys, and I'll discuss all of this. But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead, maybe you Okay guys, welcome back. So the first job on my list is a waste collector truck driver. Okay, so who is a waste collector truck driver? So like in Africa where I come from in Nigeria, we call them kole kole, right? The truck waste collector is a person who is driving a big truck, the regular dump truck, and at the back of the dump truck, there will be an attendant who will be stopping from house to house to pick the refuge that is already in front of the house and throw it inside of the truck. Okay, so your job as that waste collector driver is just to be driving from one apartment to the other, from one apartment to the other. So based on different days of the week, you'll be given the number of streets in which you are supposed to work for that day probably on monday you need to work in these areas on tuesday you need to work in these areas wednesday thursday friday like that so basically they work eight hours in a day and those eight hours are based on different routes and different destinations because they know how dangerous these jobs are because they know that this job not everyone would want to go for this kind of job they ensure that the package the payment for this job is quite attractive that's why they pay from like 25 30 dollars upwards per hour for this kind of job and it just doesn't end there it also comes up with other kind of benefits some of the benefits that you can have for this kind of job is that it will have a life insurance okay so the life insurance is just like a pension or something you get when you're no longer in the job when you lose your job or something accidentally happens to you it's gonna cover for every unfortunate situation in your life they'll also go ahead to provide dental care okay so if you have any issues with dental stuffs your teeth and all of that they have medical provisions for that that will cover both your prescription and I know as well you already have your medical card right so your medical care will cover for your consultation while the dental care will be able to cover for your prescription they also go ahead to provide for your vision care so your vision care will be for like your glasses your contact lens or any eye or medical issue that you would want to go for for both the ones that are covered by medicare card and the ones that are not covered by medicare card they'll provide all of those services for you as is part of benefit for the job so these are basically things that make the job a little bit more intriguing and making people want to do it encourage people to do it because really they are tough jobs and then before I forget, they also have employee assistance program. So employee assistance program means that if you would like to go for any course program or you have something that you would want to do and you would like the company to assist you with, they will definitely go ahead to assist you. Even if it means getting a loan from that company financially, as long as they see how dedicated you are, they might give you a loan to pursue your dream or help you in getting reference letter or any document that you would require to submit for a particular project or for a particular plan that takes us to job number two the second toughest job here in canada it is arranged in no particular order okay so the second on my list is truck drivers guys this one is paying money over <laughs> this one is paying as high as 50 dollars per hour especially those truck drivers that are driving from canada to the u.s guys this one is paid up to 50 dollars per hour and guess what women are doing this job in as much as men are doing it this one they'll provide for your feeding they'll provide for your transportation they'll provide for your accommodation so most times when these uh people drive to the u.s and they need to spend the night there before coming back the next day to drop some things they might need to spend the night in the hotel the company is going to pay for your hotel bills they'll make sure that you are well fed they'll provide everything that you'll need to ensure that you are comfortable and for each ride that you go per hour you'll be paid 50 dollars this is really so nice i have some vacancies i saw on the internet as i time i made this video they are still available so i'm gonna put all of them in the description sections okay so even if you are not applying for this job so you can read up more and know how this kind of jobs go 
and that will bring us to number three so the third on my list are traffic wardens traffic wardens so traffic wardens in africa we call it lensman okay so we have lensman in nigeria we have lensman in uh, ghana we have lensman in senegal we have lensman in basically all african countries okay so this lensman are those ones wearing uniform and all of that but we don't have those ones here in canada because in canada we have the road signs and all of that we have the street light and all of that so these ones are the things that help people to um obey the traffic rules and regulations but then in certain areas like especially in school zones okay in school zones or in school areas or in children play area they do ensure they put in a staff okay a traffic warden who doesn't wear uniform so this one is to ensure that at certain times when children will be in that area so if it's a school hours it's usually from 7 30 a.m to 4 30 a.m so this lady or this man will be there to ensure that they help the children to cross over to the other side to help pedestrians who are willing and wanting to cross to the other side to ensure that the cars stop when the flash button is pressed because their pedestrian might need to cross to the other side and they need to press that uh flash button and it flashes for 30 seconds but either ways even if that lady or man is not there that light is flashing from 7 30 a.m to 4 30 a.m in the afternoon but guys guess what if you see people doing this job oh my goodness this is just six degrees if i show you if i show you how cold i am imagine during the winter imagine minus 35 degrees imagine minus 35 degrees imagine minus 40 degrees this woman this one is real life example this woman is standing there under the snow with she's wearing nose marks she's wearing sunglasses she's wearing a winter hat she's wearing her snow pants she's wearing her snow jacket she's wearing everything she's wearing all of this thing just to ensure that she doesn't catch cold because she's not she's gonna be paid 25 to 30 dollar per hour and guess what for this job that i'm talking about now when there's a government public holiday and when schools do not open you will not work on those days and you still will be paid so here in canada i've noticed that most fridays like two fridays in a month school students don't, don't go to school they call it pm for teachers pl means uh personal stroke professional learning right so children don't go to school so on these two days that the children do not go to school guess what they still will be paid and basically in canada almost every month once in a month so i swear once in a month there's public holiday here in canada once in a month there's public holiday yeah when the public holiday will be like four times in a month because when there's when there's public holiday you still will be paid eight hours for your job so yeah so that is another job that's so tough here in canada that immigrants end up settling with okay guys number four on my list is warehouse guys i'm jumping over oh, god want to finish me here okay so basically i just want to finish this before i um before i go inside because i don't really have strength to do when i go inside I have a lot of things that i need to do okay so warehouse job here in canada pays a lot warehouse jobs they pay as high as 24 to 30 dollars per hour as well but guys you must be physically fit because for this warehouse job you can work as high as 12 hours a day and you can work up to seven days you will need to carry heavy equipment okay you will need to load containers you will need to carry fridge you might need to carry washing machine you might need to pull out cars from containers it could be anything okay so you need to eat like you need to cock up like so this, this is not a job where you put on your gucci gucci shoes or your designer's shoes put on your coat and dress fashion 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 no for this job you just have to dress comfortably and a dress that will allow you to do your job without looking at the stains that will come up on your clothes and also you need to eat well not overfeed yourself i actually have friends doing this job and it isn't easy <coughs> it is physically demanding but at the end of the day when you are paid when you're collecting your salaries and all of that you definitely will get a smile plus all of those benefits that i mentioned to you 
Hey guys, though, so finally, 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 we are going. We are approaching winter, and we are in fall. So it's going to start snowing from first week of December. That's why we have this kind of job. It's called the snow removers. Who are the snow remover people? So the snow remover people are people who come to your doorstep to clear off the snow from your doorstep because you've made payment from that. It just doesn't end there. You see the street behind me. During the snow, when you wake up in the morning as early as six o'clock in the morning. We wake up at six o'clock in the morning you will not see any road in fact you will know the difference between this ground that i'm showing you and that main road you don't know the difference because everything is going to be flooded with all white so in the morning they come with like a truck caterpillar to remove this snow they pack this snow to one side they have this machine that sucks up the 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 ice and it takes the ice into the truck and then the ones that are in pavement of your house so they come out individually to pack that one and then when they are done they sprinkle some uh sea salt so when i say sea salt i mean those big big ones that is like so like stand they sprinkle it on your doorstep because it could be very sleepy people used to fall it out guys you don't see the day my first time when i fell in canada this was not a joke i just came out so that was when i was trying to stay in the shed apartment i just came out from my dad i was just like I was just like, I just took two steps to step out of the staircase and guess what? What I hear was BOOM! With my bomb bomb, I landed on the stairs and it didn't end there. I rode to the bottom of the stairs. When I rode to the bottom of the stairs, I was looking for my glasses, I was looking for my phone, I was somewhat like shocked, oh my god. That is the last kind of uh, top job that immigrants settle for when they come here to Canada and those are the salary ranges as well. So this kind of job, they really need people. So if you are in Canada and you don't have a job and you want a guaranteed job that if you apply now, no, 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 they will take you, apply for this job because they need people. And if you look forward to coming into Canada and just have these jobs at the back of your mind, so that in case you apply for jobs and you are not getting them instantly, instantly, you can apply for this job. So on this note, I'll be ending this video now because I am freezing up, my friends. I'm freezing. It's six degrees and we are in fall autumn here in Canada. I'll see you in the next video. If you have any question based on the jobs that I have mentioned or other jobs that you would want to know about, can you drop us a comment in the comment section? I'll see you in the next video. Until then, goodbye and I need to go stay warm. Bye.